Hi, this is Sandra K. Webster, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to compute an honestly significant difference test using Excel. I'm starting off with the formula for Tukey's honestly significant difference test, and it uses things that come from your Excel analysis of variance, or any analysis of variance that you do, plus this studentized range statistic called Q. And so in order to get that, we have to look at, I'll get there, a table. There are some online calculators for this, but they don't actually work very well. So you have to pick out the number from a table, and there are quite a few tables that are easily available online um, for that. If we go back to the example from my previous video, I've computed an analysis of variance for this data set, and at this point the question is which of these three means are really different even though we have a statistically significant F we don't know which ones are really different so I'm going to compute the studentized range statistic so the honestly significant difference HSD is the amount of difference between these means to make each one of them significant from the other and so we can compute it by putting a formula in and we have to have a Q value now the Q value for 2 degrees 2 in the numerator with an alpha level of 0.05 and 27 in the denominator 2 and 27 is 2.902 .902. so that Q value 2.902 is going to be multiplied times the square root SQRT you can get these probably better if we just did this S not S SQRT of the mean square error the within groups mean square but that mean square error, if you'll remember the formula, has to be divided by the number of cases and we need the square root of the whole thing not just part of it and that, if the formula was right, would give us the required difference between the means now we still have to figure out the difference between the means. So an honestly significant difference would be 1.7. Well, 1.699, but I'm rounding to 1.7. So if I look at these means up here, I can say, well, what is the difference between a strong net and a minimal net? Oh, 3.1. That is greater than this number, 1.7. So that difference is significant. I could also ask, what is the difference equal between the moderate net and, I'm sorry, let's do this the right way, the moderate net minus the minimal net average. And that's 1.9, which is also greater than 1.7. There's one more con comparison I can do, and that's between strong and moderate, right? Because with three means, there are three sets of pairs. So this is going to be 8.9, net average minus 7.7. .7. Oh, these two are not more different than we could expect by chance alone at an alpha level of 0 0.05. So when we report the results we can say there's a significant F but the difference lies between strong and minimal, moderate and minimal, but not between strong and moderate. And so you can see there's a lot of room for errors as you put formulas in. But basically you have to look up the Q value and then take the square root of 
the mean square within divided by the number per group and multiply those together to get Tukey's Honestly Significant Difference Test. And there we go.